Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Brad Lone Wolf and today I am going to be doing a little bit of preparation for a road trip that I've got planned towards the end of September. Um, I'm planning to go as lightweight as possible because it is only me going and the first part of the journey is going to be done by train. Um, as I say, I'm going to be going as lightweight as possible so I'm going through some of the things that I'm looking at and I'm trying to lose as much weight as I possibly can. Um, I'm going to show you on this video a few little tips and tricks. You might have seen some, you might not have done. Um, and a few things that I'll be taking with me just to lighten the load as it were. Now, the first thing I'm going to look at cutting down on is uh, my wash kit. Uh, I'm only going for seven days. Uh, I do intend to camp uh, overnight at some places, so there will be opportunity to have a shower. Uh, not necessarily chance to wash clothes, but I'll go through that on another day. So um, what I'm going to be doing is, like I say, the lightest way possible. Now, in terms of washing, I'm going to be taking some of these. You might have seen these uh, before. These are Life Venture soap leaves, and all they are sure if the camera is going to focus on that and all they are is just leaves of soap basically come in its own little packet a little closable packet uh weighs next to nothing i can't remember how much it weighs off the top of my head but um there we go so that's that's the one the soap that i'm going to be taking uh in terms of toothpaste, I'm going to take normal toothpaste, uh, but I'm going to do something that you might have seen on the internet, and that is put them into straws. Now, in this case, these are actually paper straws, not plastic straws. Uh, I've got to think of the environment and all that. But the, the method is exactly the same, but rather than melting them to, uh, to cut them in half or cut them down to cut them down to the length that you want. I'm actually going to be using a pair of scissors. I'm just cutting it off where I think is good. Should be about there. Cut it down. And then I'm going to take my toothpaste and I'm going to pour squirt some toothpaste into there. I'm going to do this off camera because it'll be a little bit easier. right so just pulled the toothpaste into there that's about obviously um one day's worth probably only clean my teeth once a day um i know it sounds disgusting but once a day will be fine for what i'm doing now you might be asking how am i going to seal the ends up um if it's paper straw well, i'm glad you asked that that's where this stuff comes in this is actually edible glue so you might be able to see it edible glue okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the, the straws and i'm just going to dip the end in the edible glue and then i'm going to take a bulldog clip mini bulldog clip crush the ends together We'll see it doesn't matter if a little bit of toothpaste comes out squeeze the ends together and then do the other side in exactly the same way word of caution if you are going to do this method the glue is edible as i've already said doesn't taste very nice though So I'm only going to do the one of them, and that's what it looks like once it's done. Obviously, once the glue's dried, I take the ball, bulldog clips off and uh, just leave it there. And glue really is not very nice at all. Like I say, it is edible, but it's just not nice. Now, I have done a couple more of these. There you go. Just 
go just so you can see obviously I've got another four to do once I've done them I'll be putting them in a little coin bag yes I am aware of the irony of using a plastic bag when I'm trying to go eco-friendly and as lightweight as possible but if the straws burst, I'd rather them be in something like this than all over the rest of my wash kit. If you've got a problem with that, just let me know and I'll completely ignore you. Okay, so, like I say, I've got another four of them to do, which I will do off camera. I've already seen the soap leaves. And here's the bat, here's my town. Travel town, normal soft tra uh, travel town um nothing special about it but what it is also going to do it's also going to double up as the bag it's the wash bag itself so soap leaves can fit in there quite nicely and i'll just throw that one in to show you yeah throw that one in just to show you that they fit in there as well now you might be asking yourself, well, okay, that's fine, but I haven't seen you put a toothpaste, a toothbrush in yet. And you'd be right. I went out today and I bought, well, I actually bought two of them. I actually bought two, two toothbrushes. Now you're looking at them and you're thinking they're a little bit big to go in your wash kit, aren't they? And I'm, and I'm glad you asked that. And yes, they are. I'm going to take the purple one. And all I'm going to do, it's a 25p toothbrush, so all I'm going to do is just cut it down, basically. All right, give us a second, and I'll be right back. Back, I was just getting a little bit annoyed with the way that the camera was spinning around as I was filming and trying to cut the toothbrush brush in half. Anyway, carry on. Just nicely, nice and gently, swaying backwards and forwards. Creating a big groove. You could even heat your knife up to make this easier if you wanted to. I haven't bothered. Once you've scored enough, Okay, once you cut through it, okay, once you cut through it enough, obviously you can bend it and snap it, as you get something that looks like that. Now that, in terms of a travel toothbrush, some people would say that was still too long. I personally think it's just alright. Again, that will fit quite nicely into my little wash bag. So, toothbrush, toothpaste once the glue's dried, towel and soap leaves. Now, I can already hear some people saying, well, what about a razor and how about shaving? I don't intend to shave. Um, my facial hair doesn't actually grow that quickly. Um, point in fact, I can buy uh, Mac 3s. And they will actually go rusty before I can use them. So I end up uh, I end up buying uh, disposable razors just for that reason. It, it works out cheaper for me. So I don't intend to shave on this road trip. Uh, I've got no need to do it really. Um, so that is uh, that's the wash kit um, almost ready. Like I say, I've still got to dry, still got the, the straws to dry. Uh, and once they're done, they'll be packed in their little money bag, and then they'll be put into this wash kit. Uh, right, moving on. Okay, so next up, guys. Um, some of you know, uh, one of my very good friends is an artist and often encourages me to try out my artistic skills, for want of a better word. And I know this person will ask if I'm going to be taking any arty stuff on the way. And the answer is yes. Um, but 
it's not going to be all of this. Okay, um, like I say, I'm trying to go as small and lightweight as possible. So let's get that into focus. So it's not going to be all of this. I've got to cut down on what I can take, obviously. Um, so what am I going to take? Let's get rid of all of this and let's look at the big box first. So, just the light, light way up. Nice as it would be to take all of that. Let's see all that in there. I can't. Purely because of bulk and weight. I will, however take a paintbrush whether I'll use it or not I don't know because I won't have any paint thinner to wash it out but I'll be taking a paintbrush anyway I'll also be taking a little box of paints that uh, the same person sent me so that will be going with me Pencil and pencil sharpener and a sketchbook. That's it. That's all I'm going to take. And to make sure it all stays together and doesn't get lost, I'm going to be putting it all in a food bag, a reusable food bag. So, put the sketchbook in there. Put the paintbrush with its little plastic protector. Also goes in there. I'm going to put it in the rings of the sketchbook. Just so it makes it a little bit more compact. I'm going to take the pencil and put it in the pencil sharpener. So that the pencil itself doesn't uh, poke a hole in the, in the bag. And again, I'm just going to slide that as far down the rings of the sketchbook. As it will go, it should go all the way actually. Yeah, that's far enough. That's what that'll fit in. And then the paint box will go in on top. Seal that up, but I'm not going to close it all the way. So I can push the air out and then close it up. So small little art art bag there. Um, so I've got something to draw with. Okay, now then, this is going to be the biggest problem, I'm going to pull all of these out, and you'll see why. Still going. That is all of it. Okay. So, not quite all of it. So in front of us here, we've got a couple of action camera, or an action camera, uh, a little digital camera, and various other bits and pieces. Um, this is what's really gonna kind of scupper the lightweight idea. Now, like I say, I am driving, I'm not, I'm not walking this route. Um, but I've got to be very, very choosy as to what I take, uh, cause obviously I can't take it all. Um, I'll be taking that. That's obviously the, that's the cradle that will hold, uh, whichever camera I choose onto the, the, um, the windscreen, the windshield of the car. So that's got to go in the bag. The action camera itself, uh, I don't think I'll be taking the action camera itself simply because um, it's not a great resolution, but not only that, it can only take a me 8 megabyte um, memory card. So yeah, not great. Uh, 
So that'll be going, that'll be staying behind. Uh, that little cradle will be going. That one won't. That one will, that will hold um, my phone in place uh, or the camera in place so I can record what I'm doing. So that'll be going. Now, this is one of the cameras that I'm going to be taking, a little digital compact. Um, the problem with taking this and the action cam as well, actually, is they both run off of rechargeable batteries, not standard AA throwaway things. So if I take this, I've got to take the charger. If I take the charger, it means I've got to take an inverter. It's one of the uh, memory cards. I don't particularly want to take the inverter because look at it. It's huge, it's bigger than the camera. But saying that, if I don't take it, and sod's law is I will run out of battery power. So the other other option of course is just to use my phone. Which would be an idea. It's something I'm going to have to think about. So for now that's going to go on the take pile with a proviso. That obviously goes same with the uh, um, battery charger. And... Same with the inverter. The good thing about the inverter is it has also got a USB plug. Um, so if the car I use doesn't have a USB, I can plug it straight into there. There are, of course, and I've got plenty of them, 12 volt adapters anyway. Uh, that's a little sticker for the a little sticker mount for the action cam. Always take a spare cable for your phone just in case. A uh, little extender the action cam or for the camera mounts yeah I think that one will be going with me those cables won't that strap won't they won't that will it's a little end mount might as well take a few of them another memory card will be going with me of course a couple of little spanners there's one in there somewhere yep they're gonna be staying behind that mountain, yeah, I'll think about that. That'll go on the maybe pile as well. Handbar grips, obviously not. And that one, I've got no need for it. And that one, I'll probably have no need for it. But we'll, uh, we'll find out. We'll find out. Okay, um, so that's just the that's just the first part of. Um, deciding what to take there's another little sticker there that's not going to go with me um, that's the first part of what's what I'm going to be taking on this uh, on this road trip uh, as we get closer to the date I'll do a few more a few more um, videos on what I'm taking and what I'm not taking um, so in the meantime thank you very much for joining me and I shall see you next time bye for now